Okay, hi friends. Uh, today I'm going to be talking to you about um, the level one B. So I'm going to give you and revise with you some points which are discussed with you in level one B. Yeah. So this is a very basic tutorial. It's a very basic tutorial, and it is basically for level one B. Yeah. I'm uh, very deliberately trying to go very easy on this tutorial so that if some of you guys uh, who have not uh, followed uh, the concepts. Uh, I will make it a lot more easier for you to understand and grasp. So it's a very basic tutorial. So, but do pay attention. Um, see what you can get. Uh, once this tutorial has been posted, then you can always ask me questions as to uh, what or why, and I'll be able to clear things off for you. Right? Trends. Uh, first thing which you need to remember is that market always moves in a trend. Um, uh, there are three trends in the market. There is a uptrend. There is a downtrend and there is a trend where the market is going up and down and it's basically moving sideways so this is an uptrend this is a downtrend this is a sideways trend so first rule of trading is to find out what is the trend right that's the first rule of trading and we want to trade in the direction of the trend never against it in the direction of the trend yeah that is the first rule uptrend is defined as something which goes like this yeah and uh, the direction visually is up yeah and while the direction is up uh, if you call this as the bottom this is the top uh, this is higher bottom so the bottom is higher than this this is the level here this is the level here and then there is a higher top yeah and this is a level here and this is a level here so bottom is higher top is also higher again there is higher bottom there is higher top higher bottom higher top yeah that's an uptrend now how do you define a downtrend so how do we look at a downtrend downtrend would be drawn something like this Um, the trend is visually down it is actually going down and if this is the top this is the bottom this is lower top this is lower bottom lower top lower bottom lower top see top lower top lower top lower top bottom lower bottom lower bottom right so this is an uptrend this is a downtrend now how do you draw a sideways trend let me quickly explain to you i have to draw a sideways trend this is how it look like what are we looking at first of all visually the trend is moving sideways and while the trend is moving sideways if this is a top you're looking at a bottom here now this is a lower top this is a higher bottom this is a higher top this is a lower bottom then there is a lower top and then there is a lower bottom and then there is a higher top so what basically happening is that the price is moving in a sideways direction so this is an uptrend downtrend and a sideways trend there are three basic types of trends okay three types one would be short term two is a mid term and three is a long term now short term trend would be anywhere from 10 days to about two months okay from 10 days to about two months I mean this is not sacrosanct figures I'm just giving you a ballpark figures a midterm trend would be anywhere between 1.5 months to about six months and a long term trend 
could be anywhere from four months to about three years. Now, while I'm, I while I'm defining all these three, this is for the current situation in the market. Yeah, this is where the markets are very volatile. This is where the markets are um, super reactive because the information flow is faster. Uh, and hence we are looking at this kind of scenario yeah now uh, let me quickly explain to you how short term mid term and long term trends work and how they would look like uh, here i'm going to draw what is called as an uptrend so this is the way a, a major uptrend would look like yeah this is how a major uptrend would look like and uh, while we are having a major uptrend uh, this is how a mid term trend would look like this is how a midterm trend would look like. And this is finally how a uh, short term trend would look like. So, right. So this one is short term trend and this is a long term trend. Yeah. Now uh, similarly uh, we will have the same thing in a downwards direction. So very quickly let me also show it to you in a downwards direction. So very quickly let me draw a downtrend for you and this is how a downtrend is going to look like. Yeah, lower top, lower bottoms. Yeah, and this is how a midterm trend would look like. And this is how a short term trend would look like. Right? So this is a long term trend, this is mid term trend, this is short term trend. How do you determine and find how do you determine and find out uh, long term, mid term, short term trends? Now the easiest way to one is that you do it as a visual inspection. The second way of doing it would be uh, simply by putting moving averages. So I have spoken to you about uh, moving averages uh, try using only two types of moving averages one is called as a simple moving average which is called as an sma and uh, second would be called as exponential moving average um, i will explain to you the difference between the two later in the same video but uh, these are the two ones which you use uh, the moving averages which we use uh, uh, are as follows 5 13 20 50 75 100 200 300 365 when you actually use different moving averages the, uh, uh, depending on the direction of the moving average you will actually find out what is a trend uh, please pay attention moving average do not use moving averages to trade moving average is an indicator which gives you the direction it, it has got a very strong use but please do not use it to trade most of the people who are retail people always use it to trade and they always lose money yeah so it's a very simple thing but uh, please do not use it for trading 5 25 13 20 would be uh, used for um, a short term 50 70 500 200 would be used for mid term 200 onwards would be used for a long term so short term mid term long term if giving you example if the long term trend is going up as a moving average and if the short term is going down which basically means that the short term trend is but the long term trend is there are two types of uh, formations one is called as a charting concept and second is called as a trading concept charting concepts means you, it helps you to read the chart better but while it helps you to read the chart better it does not tell you 
when to buy and when to sell or it does not precisely tell you where is your uh, entry and your exit trading concept is a concept where you see that so particular uh, thing onto the chart and the moment you see it then you know that this is where the entry is and this is where the exit is uh, the first one which i'm going to talk to you about is what is called as a head and shoulder yeah yeah now pay attention how a head and shoulder is formed there is an uptrend which is going in yeah now uh, this side obviously is an uptrend because this is a top this is a bottom this is a higher top this is a higher bottom um higher top higher top higher top higher top uh higher bottom now till this time is a uh, uptrend suddenly what is happening is uh while this is a higher top this is a higher bottom yeah the moment it moves back from higher top instead of creating a higher bottom it is creating what is called as a same bottom as it moves away from here we are getting what is called as a lower top so this is the first point where the trend has changed the trend has gone up like this it is upper side now you are actually looking at the trend started moving sideways and the reason why it started moving sideways is because of this first point this is the second point yeah because it was a higher top all this while and suddenly you have a lower top this is a second confirmation that the has changed please do not use the word trend has reversed okay let me write this down for you so reversed don't use the word reversed use the word changed this is again a same bottom and this is the third point where you are actually looking at a trend which could and the word is could be sideways yeah now the interesting part is this the trend was up this the trend has been sideways we are actually going to draw a horizontal line here this is a horizontal line which has been drawn yeah and the when the moment we start drawing a horizontal line we actually look at one shoulder one head and another shoulder and this line is called as a neckline so let me write this stuff for for you it's a neckline yeah and as the neckline goes on breaking down and as the price breaks below the neckline we can very safely say that the trend has changed and this is a lower top so higher top higher top lower top lower top lower top lower top higher bottom higher bottom same bottom same bottom lower bottom yeah so what we are basically looking at is the moment it starts moving from here this is the direction it starts taking so this was the direction up this was the direction sideways this was the direction down and hence head and shoulders is considered to be a trend changer but what you need to pay attention to is Point one, point two, point three, 
are the very significant ones which will define whether the trend has changed or not. So let me write this down for you. This is first, this is second, this is third and this is fourth. These are the four points which are going to define whether the trend is going to be sideways or it is going to turn around and going down. Because if if you take it from here to here to here, the trend is actually sideways, isn't it? If you look at it from this point of view, let me just quickly draw it for you. Yeah. This is still a sideways moment because it could go up. Yeah. Only when it breaks down at this point, at the neckline point, is where the trend has started going down. Because if the price starts jumping up from here like this, it could start an uptrend again, isn't it? Or if it comes back again, it is a start of a sideways trend. So please pay attention for um, you to confirm a head and shoulder. Uh, let me kind of redraw it for you. A shoulder a head and a shoulder there is a neckline which goes across and only when you see the neckline being broken is that the trend has started going down so uptrend sideways trend downtrend now very quickly let me tell you the types of HNS but uh, uh, textbook definition of a head and shoulder is that it is going to look like this. Yeah, where this is the shoulder, this is the head. The head is always higher than the shoulder. And this is a shoulder again. This is the neckline. But very rarely do are you going to see any textbook definitions. So I will show you different types of uh, uh, head and shoulders which you can see in the market. and this is going to be the neckline and uh, here before this is going to be an uptrend so uptrend there's a head and shoulder which is formed shoulder head shoulder trend has reversed only when it breaks this point only when this point is broken is the time we can see that head and shoulders is formed and uh, the trend will start continue going down so this is a shoulder yeah and you are actually going to be able to draw a head and shoulder like this where this would be a shoulder this would be a head and this would be a shoulder yeah this is the neckline and only when you and only when you break the neckline is where the price starts going down sideways. So sometimes you are going to have them sideways. Sometimes you are going to have them in an upward movement. Sometimes they are going to be in a sideways movement. Now there is another formation which you will uh, see many times. And let me show this to you. And where head and shoulders look like this. So there is a shoulder. And there is a massive head. And then there is a shoulder. And the shoulder, there are small shoulders which keep on coming down. Now this is how you draw a neckline on it and only when it breaks this neckline is where the head and shoulder starts forming and it is actually completed yeah this is where the trend is going to start reversing down yeah so this is also possible small shoulders whenever there is a head and shoulder formation which comes into play yeah this is a shoulder head and shoulder how much are we expecting the price to go down this is determined by this uh, this formula uh, if for example if this is the height this is the height which is the h is the height yeah it would be one feet or one meters or whatever one centimeters the moment the shoulder breaks down it is expected okay it is not a guarantee there is no guarantees in the stock market that it, the price will go down by at least one h or 1.5 h which means this will go down to 1H or 1.5H which means if you are trading head and shoulders you need to know that it will turn around anything after 1H is where you have to be cautious so as it breaks down it will go down by 1 to H 1 to H okay
So whenever you are looking and searching for head and shoulders, head and shoulders are very common in India uh, on an Indian scenario. They are very common. I don't know the reason why they are common, but they are. And um, the, uh, so you can trade shoulders, head and shoulders, but the reverse of it is also true. There is always something which is called as reverse head and shoulders. Yeah. And reverse head and shoulders is a very tricky phenomenon and I would suggest that you guys don't get into it or don't even try to search for it because it's uh, it is a charting concept, it's not a trading concept. You can't really accurately trade it. Now while I talk about head and shoulders, let me just kind of show you how um, the volume will look onto this. So usually the volume is very very high on the first shoulder, it kind of drops down. Yeah. Again it becomes a little higher but not higher than this, again it starts drop, dropping down. In fact, once the decision has been made over here, yeah, it slightly goes down and starts going up again. Because this, when the trend starts going down, the volume will, volume will go up. Which means the volume is actually confirming that the trend has, has started. Okay, let me repeat it for you. Volume will go up on your first shoulder. As the price starts coming down, the, uh, this is basically what is called as a retracement. Volume will come down. Again as the price goes up, volume will go up, but not so much as the first volume, not so much as the first volume here. Again as the price comes down, volume is coming down, this is a retracement. On the third one, the volume will go up, but not so much as the first, second one or the first one. Again and as it starts coming down, it will start trickling down till here and the moment the, the price breaks the neckline the volume will start shooting up here so let me show you which are the two important points and what is expected this is the important point this is the important point this is as the price starts breaking down from here the volume will start going up here so this is head and shoulders for you uh, this is again a rule of the thumb don't take it as sacrosanct